Hi kids! Welcome to our online service that's been produced specially for you. have been having such a great time learning about God from the Bible. Today, we are going to start a brand new topic. It's about the Bible itself. Haven't you ever wondered why we all call the Bible the Word of God? I mean, if you look at it, does it look like any other book written by man? But is it really just any other book? Absolutely not. All scripture in the Bible was written by the inspiration of God. It is holy and it's perfect. Always. For instance, we know that the Apostle Paul wrote several letters to different churches that are recorded in the Bible for us. But the truth is that Paul did not write these letters on his own. They were not his thoughts or words. The words in those letters he wrote were by inspiration from God. But what exactly do we mean when we say inspiration from God? Let's find out today. Can we pray before we go any further? Let's all close our eyes and bow our heads. Loving Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful evening. Lord, help us keep our minds and ears open as we receive what is being taught to us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay children, so earlier I said that the Bible was written by inspiration from God, right? It means that they were led by God to write it. The words in the Bible is God's breath, which means God spoke and men wrote them down. Let me explain this to y'all using an example of a trumpet and a flute. Do these two instruments look different? Yes. Do you think they will sound different? Yes. But even though they are different instruments, you can play the exact same song on both the instruments. Listen to this. you hear that children? Both these instruments cannot make sounds on their own. They need a musician to play them. Correct? Not only that, but the musician would also have to breathe in into the instrument to make a sound, a note or a song. So children, the musician playing the instrument represents God. The breath of the musician is like God's spirit. The musical instruments represent the different authors who wrote the Bible 
and the song or music they played which is recorded and played back for others to listen represents the bible the word of god the musician playing the instrument and the music coming out is like god's spirit working in the hearts of the authors of the bible and working out what they wrote in the bible the bible says in 2 timothy chapter 3 verse 16 all scripture is god breathed and is useful for teaching rebuking correcting and in training in righteousness just like the instruments are different and the sound that comes out of them are different the different authors of the bible used their own words in their own language to describe what god had spoken to them hence god is the source of the bible the bible is god's message to us and every word in it is inspired spoken by god to us so children the power verse for today is from 2 timothy chapter 3 verse 16 it says all scripture is god breathed and is useful for teaching rebuking correcting and training in righteousness can we all read it together all scripture is god breathed and is useful for teaching rebuking correcting and training in righteousness 2 timothy chapter 3 verse 60 very good we will use this power verse in the end to do a scripture art so now that we understand a little more about how the bible is inspired by god let's look at a story in the bible where that happens in acts 10 9 to 16 we read about Peter who was one of Jesus early disciples he was one of the key leaders in the church can you guess what books of the bible peter wrote that's right peter wrote the books first peter and second peter recorded in the new testament of our bible one day god came to peter in a vision Now what's a vision? A vision is one of the ways through which God talks to us. It's something like you're dreaming but you're not asleep. Now in the vision Peter sees a big sheet full of animals and a voice tells Peter to kill and eat the animals. Children, in the Jewish tradition there were certain animals that were considered unclean and Jews couldn't eat the meat from those animals but some of those unclean animals were in the vision so peter said no way but god was teaching peter a lesson and it wasn't really about animals it was about people the jews including peter thought that the non-Jews or the Gentiles were unclean and unimportant people. They didn't think they were worthy of God's love. But that wasn't God's heart at all. Jesus came to die for everyone, Jews and Gentiles. After God gave Peter the vision, Peter realized that God does not consider anyone better than others. He realized that Jesus came for everyone that the gentiles who are the non-Jews should hear about Jesus too. So Peter and the rest of the followers of Jesus Christ like Paul began to teach and write letters about Jesus to people who were not Jewish. These letters make up a big part of the New Testament that we all read today. Did you see how God worked in Peter's heart so he could begin teaching everyone in the world about Jesus not just the people of Israel in fact that is why 
you and I who are not Jewish have the Bible to read today. How wonderful it is to know that God was thinking about you and me when he gave Peter that vision. Yes, he loves us so much that he wanted us to know what his son Jesus has done for us and that when we believe that Jesus Christ paid the price for our sins, we can become the children of God too. Do you now understand why it is so important for us to spend time reading the Bible as much as we can? The Bible is not just the words of man, but the Bible is God's word to all man for all time. Okay children, are you ready for the activity? Have you all been paying attention to today's lesson? Let's check. I will give you a few questions and I want you to quickly type in your answers in the live chat section. Are you ready for your first question? Let's go. Question number one. Who gave Peter the vision? Come on children, quickly type in your answers. That's right. God gave Peter the vision. Your next set of questions are true or false. Are you ready? Question number two. Before the vision, Peter believed that the good news of Jesus Christ was only for the Jews. True or false? Right again kids. True is the right answer. Question number three. After the vision, Peter believed that the good news of Jesus Christ was for both Jews and the Gentiles. True or false? Very good children, it's true. Peter believed that the good news of Jesus Christ was for both Jews and the Gentiles. Now, your last question. Question number four. We can say that this vision was an inspiration from God. True or false? Yes, the vision that Peter had was an inspiration from God. Well done everyone. Good job. Okay children, were you able to learn the power verse for this week? If you remember it, go ahead and type it in the live chat. Here's your clue. You can put these words together and write down the power verse. Very good children, let's all read it out together now. It's from 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. It says, all scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness. Yes, now are you ready with your books, pens, colors to write this verse down and to do some scripture art? Okay, let's start. So this is what we'll be doing in today's scripture art. Does it look too complicated? Are you all thinking, oh no, I'm not a good artist, I can't draw well, my handwriting is not neat. Well, don't worry, I'm going to show you all how to do it, okay? So first you open paint on your computer and this is where we'll be putting all our pieces together. So we are going to be writing, all scripture is God breathed. So you can add the text in there. 
using the text box and then you can choose whatever font you like from the options given there. In case you don't like any of the fonts available on your computer, you can always go to Google and search for some fonts. I'm going to show you how to do, do this now. So there's a website called Da Font. It's called D A F O N T. You go there and then you can choose whatever fonts you like. See, there are so many options available for you. So I've chosen handwriting. Calligraphy is another option for you to use. So inside the preview box, I've typed in scripture because that's the word I want written in a nice font. And see, there are so many nice options for you to choose from. I'm increasing the size, the font size to large. See, you can choose whatever you like. So I've gone for this last one on, on this page. So go to your computer again and click on snipping tool. Choose snipping tool, new and then select the whole word. Copy it and paste it in paint. You can do the same thing for the other words as well. So now I'm looking for God breathed and I'm going to scroll down and choose what font I like. Again, go to snipping tool, new and select the font that you like. Select the whole word and go and paste it in paint. Here you can arrange it, uh, resize it and place it wherever you want. Now I'm going to be adding my other words. For this, I'm going to just use uh, whatever font is available on my computer. So I'm writing all and I will resize it or place it wherever I want to place it. All scripture is God breathed. Now, what about your other drawings? So for that, go to Google and type in clip art. So I want a Bible there. So I've typed in Bible clip art. So see, there are so many options. So this is what I've gone for. Copy it and paste it in paint. Again, you can resize it, place it wherever you want. Okay. Then I've added these swirls to indicate breadth. So I just typed wind clip art on Google and I got these. I then selected the whole thing, copied it and I pasted it in Word. So you see the whole thing is ready like this. So I just have to trace it onto my paper. So just place your paper like this and then trace it with a pencil. So now you can go over it with your pen or your colors. I'm just using black here. You can do whatever color you like. You can color it. You can draw whatever design you like on it. So I'm just drawing a small heart in the middle. Just enjoy the process as you learn your Bible verse. So this one is from 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. And it says, all scripture is God breathed. And what is it useful for? It's useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. So that's it for today, kids. Don't forget to send us pictures of your scripture art. You can email them to kidsonline at apcwo.org. Hope you enjoyed today's online service, kids. Join us again next week to learn more from God's Word. Do any of you have a testimony to share or a prayer request you want us to pray for? You can write to us at kidsonline at apcwo.org. We'll be glad to hear from you. Wishing all those celebrating their birthdays this week a very happy birthday. God bless you. We will be praying for you. See you all again next Saturday, everyone. Bye.